In this le uh, access lesson, we're going to first create a database and then we're going to create a table from scratch. So here we're going to ask for a blank database and it asks you to name it right away. So here we're going to give it a name. Don't use any spaces when naming anything in your database, so including the database itself. So I'm just going to call this one lesson and create. And right away it's giving me a table and um, this is a new feature. I, I'm going to ask, I'm going to want to change this table. So right away I'm going to introduce you to this key right here. It's your view key. And this key brings you back and forth from where you enter the data to where you design the actual table. So up until now we've been playing with the data. Now we're going to play with the actual design of the table. So it's either data sheet view or design view. So if I click just the main key, it'll bring me to the design view, but it's asking me first of all to save the table. Now you might be thinking we just did that. No, we saved the database, which is called lesson. So think again of the file cabinet. So the file cabinet itself is called lesson. And the first drawer, let's say, is going to be called um, we can actually we can call this one students or student uh, personal and again I'm not using any spaces if you want to use underscores that's fine right if you want to do that that's fine and then okay so before it allowed me to leave data sheet view and go to design view it forced me to name this table so this table is now called student personal now I'm in what's called design view. Okay? This is data sheet view. This is design view. This is where I'm able to define which fields are going to be in my table. Now I don't want this ID field, so I'm going to delete this right away. Okay? And now I'm going to start my own first field. Now a lot of times your first field is going to be the number field. Uh, and by number I mean in a school it would be student number. Uh, for the Government of Canada, it's social insurance number. Um, for uh, any utility you have, your cell phone company, your, your, um, your driver's license, they all have numbers. And the reason they have numbers is you may have the same first and last name as someone else. All right? So in order to identify that it's you, we have these numbers. So we're lots of different numbers. So here, I'm going to use, uh, let's say, student number. And again, do not use any spaces when naming your fields. So I'm just going to call this student number. And next, you get to define what kind of information am I going to allow people to type into this column. One of the, so there are several here. Okay, text would be just something where you can type in uh, a combination of letters and numbers. So we can use that for name, first name, address, city, state, that kind of thing. Memo would be something much, much bigger. Text will allow up to 255 characters. Memo, 65,536. Okay, so for memo. Number is something that you'd want to do math with. A phone number would be a text field because it's got the dashes, it's got the, um, uh, it's got the brackets, right? So uh, phone number is not something you do math with. Okay. However, amount of bill or money owing, that kind of thing, uh, amount of credits, right, uh, in this case. So number would be that. A date would be just that, a date. Currency, when, you have, when you're dealing with money. Here, I'm going to use auto number. And what that's going to do is every time I ask for a new record, not in this view, in the other view, it's going to automatically give me a brand new number. So I'm going to use auto number here. Now, description, description is something that I recommend when I'm building or when I'm, you know, when you're building a uh, new table. If if you if you're if you think that the people typing in the data might be confused here, let them know what this is all about. And here I would definitely use this because here I'm going to say, do not type. Let's type in this column. It will generate. Okay, 
Now, I'll show you where that shows up shortly. Now, uh, before I go any further, I'm going to make this my primary key field. I'll explain this. A primary key field is a field where I can never use the same number twice. And this is very important here because I don't want two students to have the same student number. So I'm definitely going to use that here. So that's going to be our primary key field. Next, don't ever use name because the first name and the second name need to be separated. So here you can start with last name or you can start with first name. It's totally up to you. And here I would I would stick with text. And it's, you know what, last name is self-explanatory, so I'm not going to type anything there. First name. And again, I'm going to use text. And here I can say uh, number of credits. Okay, okay. So I could, I could have called it credit numbers or just credits as well. You decide when you're building one how you want to do that. So credits. Uh, homeroom I can have, let's say. And here, even though the rooms are numbers, I'm never going to do math with the room numbers. So I'm going to make them text, quite simply. And I'd be able to go on and on and on. But in, in order to keep this video somewhat brief, it's already going to be pretty long. I'm going to leave it there. Now before I can switch over to data sheet view, which is where I would start typing in my actual information, it's going to ask me to save again. Unlike where we actually do the data entry, this does not save automatically. So when you're building and creating a table, okay, the design of your table, you're going to be asked to save every single thing you do. However, when you're typing in the data, every time you ask for a new record, it will save automatically. So you see, you must save it first. I'll say yes. Now, because I've already given it a name, I just hit yes, and it's saved. Now, I'm ready to start adding data into here. Okay. Now, pay attention here. Student number, that's the one that I want to generate automatically. And if you check down here, this is where the tips come in. So if you hire a new person or a person who's never used this database, this is where they check. So do not type in this column. It will generate automatically. So I'll know, oh, okay, I don't type there. So I'll come here. So here, I could start typing in the names of the people. Okay. And when I'm done, I hit tab and I'm ready to go to the next field. If I wanted to edit this table in any way, the design of the table, I'd go back to design view. And now I could add some columns if I wanted to. I can edit some of these things. Lots of different features. We're not going to learn them all in this lesson, but I will touch on a few more. Um, we could use uh, yes or no fields. So um, here we can ask a question such as um, uh, graduating uh, this year. And here, we can have a yes or no field, where the answer would simply be a yes or a no. So that'll be a checkbox when we get there. We can also have links to certain documents here. Um, so here we can have their transfer records from their other schools. And here we'd be able to set up either a hyperlink or an attachment. So we'd actually be able to attach a document if we wanted to. Um, on the list is also Lookup Wizard. We're going to deal with that later. Okay, that'll be a separate lesson all on its own. But for now, I simply wanted you to know that we could, we could enter new fields. We can determine what kind of information you can put in. You can edit the fields. Okay, so I can come back to any one of these fields and change them in, in several ways. I can delete them, right? I can say, okay, you know what? I don't really want the number of credits. I'm going to create another table for that, so I'd be able to delete that. So lots of different options. We're going to learn some more options down here. But important that you understand how to get from one view to the next. And when you leave Design View, you're going to have to save whatever changes you've made. And this is your data entry view where you're able to add actual records. And as you type, it saves automatically here. 
it doesn't. So I'm just clicking back and forth to go from one to another.